Hey guys, it's Holland. What's good and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a tarot card reading over Big Hits New Group and Hypen. My main goal of this reading is to help gather more information about their debut, their future career, and see like their success as a group. But before we get into this video, I recently uploaded a tarot card reading over Kong Daniel and Jihyo's breakup and an alternative astrology bird chart reading for BTS's members Jungkook and Jimin. So now let's get into the video. Okay y'all, I currently have all of my cards lit in front of me and I also have all of their sun signs pulled up as well. And y'all, <laughs> right off the bat, this reading is a hot ass mess. So for those of you who are expecting some tea, here it is. The first card that I pulled was the King of Wands reversed. So this card can have multiple meanings in the situation. So the first meaning is that the King of Wands reversed has to do with impulsiveness and hastiness. So this could have to do with the fact that Big Hit is already debuting in Hypen. Meanwhile, TXT have only been active for less than two years. The second meaning is pretty basic. It basically just means that they either have high expectations of themselves or or the company has very high expectations of them, which is usually pretty common for a debut. So this kind of is basic, but here's the real meat and potatoes of this card. So the King of Wands represents a person. It represents someone who is very ruthless, someone who is rude, a bully, a tyrant, and someone who is very controlling and forceful of other people. Since the King of Wands is in conjunction with fire, so this means this person is likely either a fire sign or has a lot of fire-like sign traits. I don't know why, but the first person that I thought of when I came to this card was definitely Bang PD. Um, he's a Leo, so fire sign works for him. But also the king represents someone who's in, who's in a position of power. So obviously him being the CEO creates a position of power. So there's a strong possibility that it could be him. But also there's also three other members who are fire signs. Two of them are Sages and the other one is an Aries Taurus cusp. So I don't know about him, but there's at least two other members who in the group who are fire signs. The next card is also another juicy one. I pulled the Seven of Swords upright. This card is very, very interesting to me because this card normally represents um, deceit, lies, cheating, scheming, and just overall doing sneaky stuff behind the scenes that's not morally correct. This card is kind of weird to me. I don't know what it could mean. Oh. Oh my god. Not another rigged idol show. Like, I don't know. This could be something else behind the scenes we don't know about. But at the same time, it's the only thing I can properly think of at the moment. So, yeah, that's it. The next card I drew was the Six of Pentacles Upright. So this card basically just has to do with, like, being generous, being supported, and just sharing your resources with other people. But overall, this card mainly represents and hypens contract with Big Hit. For example, like... Um, help being given to them, support being provided to them. However, because of this, they have to be able to prove themselves of being worthy of this help and being worthy of this support and generosity, which is basically the entire K-pop debuting process as a whole anyways. So moving on to the next card. The next one is the King of Swords Upright. So this could represent a male air sign or a masculine person with air sign energy. So there are a couple of air signs in the group. There is Jungwon who's an Aquarius, Heesung who's a Libra, and that's all of them. But overall this card represents someone who is very intelligent, logical, rational, and overall have a very detached, analytical, and wise person. However, the negative to this aspect is that they may be kind of conceited in which they believe that they are above everyone else. They may take advantage of their power. It may be kind of manipulative and use their intelligence for morally wrong purposes. The next card is the Six of Swords Upright. So this card, along with the Eight of Cups Upright, are what I like to call disbandment cards because they usually represent letting go of something and moving on from a certain situation. So there's a possibility that an air, that that air sign member of the group may disband or may leave the group, possibly, allegedly, I don't know. But on the brighter side, this card can also represent a rite of passage. So like the rite of passage of a rookie becoming a an official idol. So the positives are that they're making change, progress is being made in their careers. But the problem is that 
This may result in sudden changes being made that they didn't ask for or things that they have to do in order to maintain the success and progress in the career. The next card that I pulled was the Knight of Wands upright. So this represents like energy, passion, and inspired action. So this represents um, like them putting a lot of energy and a lot of work into their debut as a group. And then also them having to deal with the scattered hasty energy of dealing with the day-to-day -day affairs of a K-pop idol. The next card that I pulled was a Page of Swords Upright. So this card is kind of like the rookie card of the deck. So it's like all the members being extremely curious, being energetic and mentally restless for their debut, and being overall very inquisitive about the world of a debuted K-pop idol. The next card that I pulled was the Queen of Wands Reversed. This is also another juicy card because the Queen of Wands Reversed is a, a once again a fire sign. So this could be two separate people in the group. This could be the CEO, another person in the group. I don't know. But overall, um, it represents someone who is extremely controlling, domineering, fiery, somewhat of a bitch. And overall, just like very greedy and has a lust for money and power and status. The ninth card that I drew from the deck was the Six of Wands Reversed. So the Six of Wands overall means like having victory, good news, having recognition and being famous and being successful. So this means that their debut will be obviously very successful. However, the negative is that the success could possibly go to the members' heads and they may develop a big ego because of it. But on the flip side, there may be a lack of confidence of the members leading up to their debut. Similar to my last reading with Aespa, the next card that I pulled was the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. So this card is a very unfortunate card, literally speaking, because the Wheel of Fortune upright is all about achievement, things going in your way, and like the outcomes benefiting you in the long run. But the problem with the Wheel of Fortune reversed is that um, just things keep going on in circles. Like, like Big Hits management may repeat its cycles in terms of how they managed their other two groups of BTS and TXT. But overall, this card just represents like negative external forces that are out of their control that will be intercepting their success in a way, kind of. However, on the flip side, I did pull the Five of Pentacles upright. So this card could represent improvements in their luck. So like, I think the Wheel of Fortune may be like a tiny, like a very short amount of time of them experiencing hardships and unlucky circumstances. This is because the Five of Pentacles reverse usually represents improvements in luck and also an end of hardships. So yeah, they should be able to bounce back pretty easily. And last but not least, the last card that I pulled was the Four Pentacles Reversed. So this card represents an overspending. So this could represent, similar to Aespa's debut, it's going to be a very, very, very high budget debut with lots of expenses being made on the production of the song as well as the music video. Okay, this is the end of the reading. Thanks for watching. If you wish to purchase an astrology or tarot card reading from me, click the link in the description below. If you wish to DM me a private question you have about one of my videos, here's my Instagram. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and remember to stay snatched.